think the loadout that I use personally throughout all my raids currently through the most impossible bases is this loadout right here. With a level 2 sledge blade, but in your case, just a level 1 sledge blade will be enough for this build, so make sure to utilize this. It is a hard hitting melee weapon which kills guards, destroys traps, and shatters armor. Very useful, in my opinion, against minions, especially throughout some of the hardest bases. And then we have as a second item being Arc Barrier. This item is the go to item, it protects you from everything, but level 2 variant is the best due to the fact that it does have the benefits of being able to uh, block and also grapple at the same time, which is the features on here as you see. Increase purple block opportunity by 0.1 seconds and also use grappling hook while shielded, which is a great thing for movement. So there's no hindrance from using this item. You can activate it and grapple at the same time. It is perfect for the combo. Then from here, I have my suit, which I'm running this suit over here, the melee variant for the custodian. It is so good. It's unbelievable. You have gap closer, which is increased melee lunge by 30% because we got maxed out completely. And we do have quick strike, which does increase our melee lunge speed by 45%. And the final perk being frenzy, increased movement speed by 30% for four seconds after destroying a trap or guard with a melee weapon. That is why we have the Sledge Blade with us as well, being the heaviest weapon in the game, aka breaking everything that's in its sight easily. And the hardware that we're using is the Phoenix Pod to be able to respawn as a solo player. This is so good. After Custodian dies, you can come back to life. Great tool to have. And also our Blast Grenade, which is another ability that gives us more of an area effect damage control ability against certain traps that might be in clusters, like in a kill box and such. This is very, very useful for that. And that is 